So then technology offers, you know, a, a different option here. So, you know, the folks at Duke is like, well, why don't we do a live webcast of your class? Uh, I taught a class this semester called Sampling Soul um, with the Grammy Award winning producer and DJ Night Wonder. Um, and we've talked about soul music, the sampling process, intellectual property law. I mean, it's been a, a wonderful kind of experience. So we decided to do this live webcast around the music of Nas um, and his first album, Illmatic. And, you know, in this hour and a half period, we got, you know, 10,000 unique mm. viewers. Right. And I'm sitting there saying to myself, wow. there's no way in the world I could have taken that out into the community wow. and gotten 10,000 people, right? So the idea of thinking about mounting a semester-long class, right, in which you could do that and, and have subject matter that would be interesting enough to bring folks from beyond the university and keep their attention, I mean, that, that's just a way for us to begin to think about mm -hmm. pushing the boundaries. The second story, again from the class, there's a wonderful uh, performance artist and, and video, a videographer named Pierre Benu. Um, there's an R&B singer by the name of Mani Yuzuru. She has this great song called Sun, Moon, Child. Um, Benu, about three years ago, took all these images of African-American dance forms and African dance forms and created a video, which is basically a collage of existing uh, video of African-American performance. Um, YouTube forced him to take it down. Um, about two months ago for, you know, copyright infringement. Two days after I showed it to the class. So the video soon became the exam. <laughs> right? You just watch this video, YouTube, just, we've been talking about all this intellectual property law stuff, we've been talking about sampling as an artistic practice, right? Here's, here it is for you, right here in the lab, hmm. right? And, t and go at it, right? Took it to the next level, it's like, you know, I, I give these really complicated prompts for exams, they got a week or so to respond to them. I put the prompt on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. And said to the public, you know, here it is, do this exam, right? Send me a copy of it so then I could post your response to it, mm -hmm. right? Again, to create a whole kind of interest in the dynamics and the issues around intellectual property law, particularly as it relates to, you know, certain forms of vernacular culture.